12. In the question, decide to give trial balance. Here we have the soft trading account, profit and loss account, balance sheet and adjustment. In the balance sheet, we can see there is a only capital account is given. So here I am ready with the specimen with the revised trading account and other specimen with calculation. In the question, the profit and loss ratio is given for the partner is 3 is to 2. Now let's start with the calculation of adjustment. Here we can see the 5% interest on capital is not calculated. So here we are going to take as a capital don't take this amount take 160,000. So here I am ready with the Dhara and Mira. Take 160,000 for Dhara. As we can see in the question 160,000 for Dhara and 120,000 for Mira. Make a calculation of it. And the calculation we got Dhara interest on capital is 8,000 and Mira 6,000. Now this will be passed in the profit and loss appropriate and partners capital account. Interest on capital. I'm writing in short. This 14,000 here with the 31st March 2017 in their column 6,000 next adjustment 10% depreciation on the building is to be provided here we can see the building amount is 240,000 just take it into your asset column building with 2,40,000 here if we remove 10% it is 24,000 so take the depreciation get it minus here we get 2,16,000 and depreciation will move to your profit and loss account write down depreciation on building it is 24,000 next prepaid salary is of rupees 400 so before we write prepaid check what salary is given that is 8,000 so take salary Eight thousand prepaid means we are going to get it minus of rupees four hundred and here we get seven thousand six hundred. Take this prepaid amount as we are doing minus, it will go in the opposite side of your balance sheet that is on your asset side over here. So here we'll write down prepaid salary 400 next interest on investment not received 800 now interest on investment that's your income will come in your profit and loss credit side so here as it is not received so interest on investment 800 and that means it's your outstanding so outstanding will move to the same side of your balance sheet that is on your asset side so write down outstanding interest on investment that is 800 next is bad debt reserve of rupees 1200 is to be maintained don't forget to take your debtor first go to your asset column and write down debtor 56,000 normally we also minus bad debt from the adjustment as it is not given so take it directly the bad debt reserve which is given from your adjustment and here we got 1,200 has to be minus 54,800 this to the second entry that comes in the profit and loss account that is bad debt reserve new that is from the adjustment so just write down the amount 
after finishing with all the amount we'll remove the calculation outside so now let's take the next step last adjustment is credit purchase of 1600 is not recorded now this has to be plus with the purchase credit purchase which has not been recorded that we are going to record 1600 and the same entry will move into your liability side with creditor now let's take the creditor from your trial balance that is 32,000 it would be 33,600 now the last step here we finish with the adjustment let's move to the account As we can see cost of goods sold now this is your opening stock plus purchase minus closing stock so directly we are going to take this amount to your tra trading account debit side that is cost of goods sold and take the amount 4 lakh 64,000 4 lakh 65,600 next office expense as we can see office expense uh, showroom rent packing expense these all are coming into your profit and loss debit side just take it office expense given 80,000 next showroom rent as it is already solved profit and loss account so we can write it down directly next is packing expense it's comparatively more easier next is bad debt 8000 and that's we are taking from the uh, question so here we are going to put 8000 next advertisement expense Selling and distribution expense, financial expense, sundry expense, these all are going to come directly to the profit and loss debit side. So here we can write directly advertisement expense that is 14,000. Selling and distribution expense that is 20,000. As I don't have a space, I'm writing down financial expense. 6,000 sundry expense 16,000 we can also take this out because we don't have anything over here so 8,000 plus 1,200 directly we can write down 9,200 next salary we already did the tax and insurance is 2,000 so just write down tax and insurance is 2,000 now obviously with the calculation this net profit will also change so don't write this okay moving to the next here we can see the sales 7 lakh 84 thousand take to the tra trading account uh, credit side sales with 7 lakh 84 thousand sundry income and bad debt return this is going to move profit and loss credit side so here we are going to write it down sundry income with the amount 7000 and this don't forget don't get confused it is bad debt written means you have bad debt recovered so this is going to be written on your profit and loss credit side next balance sheet now take the amount of capital 160,000 and 120,000 as an opening so here we are going to write first april 2016 by balance brought forward with 160,000 for dhara and 120,000 for meera next the net profit is going to be changed take the drawing amount that is 48,000 and 24,000 1st April 2016 drawing 48,000 and 24,000 next creditor we already took just take the bills payable 8,000 
on your balance sheet liability side. Eight thousand. Moving towards the asset column, building we already took. Just take plant and machinery, furniture and investment as it is. The same with the amount twenty twenty and twenty four. Plant and machinery. That is twenty thousand. Furniture. Twenty thousand. Investment. Twenty-four thousand. Then, here we finish with all this entry: cash balance, bank balance, bills receivable, debtors don't take. We already took. So just take the three amount as it is. You can see it is already solved. Cash balance: ten thousand. Bank balance. Twenty-five thousand and bills receivable. That is five thousand. So here we finish with all the calculation given in the question with all the amount. Now last process: just make the total of each and every account, remove the balance, and just buy the of their trading account. Credit side seven lakh eighty-four thousand and debit side four lakh sixty-five thousand six hundred. So write down seven lakh eighty four thousand is comparatively more. Just remove the difference of it. That would be your gross profit as the difference is going to come on your debit side, and that's a three lakh eighteen thousand four hundred. Make a cross entry in your profit and loss account by writing gross profit. That is three lakh eighteen thousand four hundred. Let's make the total of it. We get the total three lakh twenty seven thousand two hundred, and on the debit side, I found it is two lakh eight hundred. Again, this one is more, so just write down in the total column three lakh twenty seven thousand two hundred at both the side, and remove the difference by getting minus with two lakh eight hundred. You will get the difference of one lakh twenty six thousand four hundred, and that's your net. Profit, which will move to the next account, that is your profit and loss appropriate account. Net profit with a one lakh twenty six thousand four hundred. Now let's make a total of it. Here we get one lakh twenty six thousand four hundred. And as you can see on the debit side, only fourteen thousand. Again, we get more on your credit side. So just write down one lakh twenty six thousand four hundred at the both the side, and remove the difference as a divisible profit that is one lakh twelve thousand four hundred. Now this is going to be passed in the ratio of three is to two. Divisible. Profit, which is going to be distributed between Dhara and Meera, with a one lakh twelve thousand four hundred in the ratio three upon five, and for Meera two upon five. And here we get the calculation sixty seven thousand four hundred and forty, forty four thousand nine hundred and sixty. Just take it. And write down in your profit and loss appropriate account divisible profit. Write down the name of the partner with their profit as per their ratio. Make a cross over here. Thirty first March two thousand seventeen divisible. Profit that is sixty seven thousand four hundred and forty and forty four thousand nine sixty. Now, as usual, take the calculation only for Dhara. As we can see here on the debit side, it is only forty eight thousand for Dhara, and here here it is two lakh thirty five thousand four hundred and forty. 
So now, as we can see, this is more. Just take two lakh like thirty-five thousand four hundred at both the side. Five thousand four hundred get minus with forty-eight thousand. You will get the difference of one lakh like eighty-seven thousand four hundred and forty. And that's your thirty-first March two thousand seventeen white balance. See, yeah, that is your closing balance. Take the closing balance to the liability side and write down capital for Dhara. It is one lakh eighty-seven thousand four hundred and forty. Same will do for Mira. Here we can see it is only twenty-four thousand. And if you calculate this three amount, you will get one lakh seventy thousand nine hundred and sixty. If you add this three amount, you will get this amount. So here we can see this is more compared to your uh, debit side. Just take this amount both the side one lakh seventy thousand nine hundred and sixty, and remove the difference of one lakh forty six thousand nine sixty. Just get it minus with twenty four thousand. So here we get for Mira. Write down the capital for Mira. It is one lakh forty six thousand nine hundred and sixty. If we add both of them, we'll get three lakh thirty four thousand four hundred. Just add both the column. It got tally. So just take the last look of the trading account, then profit and loss account, profit and loss appropriate account. Partners' capital account, balance sheet, with the calculation.